on the tube, it's like, you know, the morning, and I have this thing, I read people, so um, I get on and I'm like, right, OK. And you look and you think, they're closing up their book, they're closing up their book, that means they're getting off in the next stop. So I then sort of position myself <laughs> kind of like this, <laughs> right in front of them and get my foot there, you know. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. But it's about manners, isn't it? I mean, this lady was pregnant. She sat down. Why did he have to say, prove it? At all. I just think that's yeah. rude. Yeah. Well, even if he thought, even if he thought yeah. she wasn't very pregnant to me, I just think the fact she's wearing the badge, it's yeah. a priority seat, that's well, why what did it's he get involved, for. the other woman? Yeah, yeah. should have said, him. prove it. But also the, you know, I have been, um, you know, on the train or whatever, or, or transport, when, you know, when you see, like, an elderly person standing yeah. there, and you do look around thinking, or and I'm standing as well, but the elderly person is standing, you think, not one person yeah. Yeah. is getting yeah. off. Well, sometimes you... I've done that before. I always offer my seat to somebody elderly, and sometimes they get quite offended. They go, no, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's well, difficult. I would still rather to offer it. And it's, I mean, it doesn't even have to be somebody elderly <laughs> and frail. To me, it's like a respect for your elders. Yeah. And, yeah, my mum's nearly 84, but she's not frail. But I would expect, if she was on a train or a bus, I would like to think... So would you would expect me up. to give my seat up for you? For me, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> And I take it. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to do when I see young teenagers sitting on that front seat mm. of a bus, mm. and then you know you mm. see an elderly person, and you think I'm, I'm actually a bit scared to tell the teenager, "Excuse me, could you move so this lady could sit down?" Because I'm scared I'm going to get some abuse back. So, Which what do you do in that situation? But they need to be taught, don't they? Yeah. Don't, whenever I've travelled with Manners. Jack, you know, he he would be made by me to stand up. So I'd like to think now, at nearly 14, he would do that automatically. Yeah. So yeah. that that's that's being taught. What about people that and... take two seats or put the bags on the chair next to them? Yes, Colleen. <laughs> yes, Colleen. What about those people? What about my move when I'm asked? No, I hate that when I go on there. And, and they wait, and the train's packed, and they can see people looking, you know, all the boss, and they're looking for a seat, and they wait for someone to go, is there anyone sitting there? And then they go, oh, no, sorry. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. they don't want you yeah. to yeah. sit it's next packed, to them. I think it's annoying, but sometimes, you know, you get a not-packed train, and you're sitting there, and someone comes and sits next to you, that. and the rest Space of the carriage... Space invaders. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all that I hate personal that anywhere. space yeah. Don't do it anywhere I am. Yeah. If you're in a cafe or something, <laughs> and the whole place is empty, and somebody sits there, it's like, space invaders. Yeah. It's like, go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. My husband's cinema. like that in the cinema. He hates it when somebody comes and sits in the next seat, and particularly if they're eating. Because, you know, the, or the, the slurpy drink, you know, the whole way through the film, or the hot dog that's, like, about this big. <laughs> and I remember once we were sitting there and he was like, oh, lovely, seats either side, empty. And just as we were about to... The film was about to start, the doors opened, and in came what I can only describe as the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Working their way along the row with a big skip of popcorn. And, he, and I thought, oh, my God, what's he going to do? And he suddenly leapt up and he went, Jesus loves you. <laughs> He's in us all. <laughs> and that you could see they sort of went like that and they went... Oh, well, actually, I think, I think I want to go a bit, but, and off they went, and he was like, thank you. 